Philippines Premier Motor Show. This is Autofocus. I'm Ray Louis Gamboa. Here are our features on this edition of your electronic magazine, exclusive to the automobile and its industry. Starting off with reviews of two vehicle models presently in the local market. A pickup truck from Nissan, the Navara VE 4x2 Automatic, and a mid-size sedan from Mazda, the Mazda 6 Sky Active G. Plus a feature-to-feature -feature comparison of two hatchbacks, the Suzuki Espresso GL Manual versus the Toyota Wego TRDS Automatic. On Autopedia, we'll talk about understanding your car's handling. And together with the latest news and developments in the local auto industry, we shall have the Isuzu Shopee Partnership as our special feature. The next 60 minutes is all about the automobile. This is Autofocus, and we'll be right back after this short break. I think my dad is secretly a superhero. He's the coolest, smartest, strongest person alive. No matter where we go, he always makes sure I feel safe. And he isn't afraid of anything. My dad likes to call that the power to lead. I call it his superpower. Be part of the 2021-2022 Autofocus People's Choice Awards, the only nationwide poll to determine the country's most popular car brands and models. It's easy. Log on to bit.ly slash AFPCA2021, then vote for as many as five different models that you believe should become the 2021-2022 Autofocus Automobile of the Year in separate, standard, and premium luxury categories. Vote every day until November 30, 2021. The Autofocus People's Choice Awards. Who will win? You choose, you decide. Vote now. Live Extra with the Mitsubishi Expander Cross. Welcome back to Autofocus. The Automobile Show. We start this edition of your electronic magazine with a review of one of the latest automobile models from Nissan. So you want a pickup that could double as a daily drive during weekdays in the city and as a workhorse for the family farm on weekends. Let's check out the Nissan Navara VE 4x2 Automatic. There's now a pickup truck for most needs and wants of buyers of varied means. There are the 4x4 trail-ready pickups with all the modern comforts and conveniences, the latest in driver assist and safety technology, as well as smart connectivity so much sought these days. These are most expensive in the lineup of pickup makers and distributors. There are the base models with 4x2 drivetrains that provide just basic functionalities and comforts in pickups meant to be affordable but dependable workhorses, the most affordable in the pickup truck lineup. In between are pickups of various configurations of power and drivetrains as well as accoutrements of modern day mobility. The Nissan Navara VE 4x2 automatic falls among these in-betweens at 5,260mm long, 1,850mm wide, and 1,810 mm tall, with a 3,150mm long wheel base. The Navara VE shares the new beefier grille and bumper of its more expensive siblings, only difference is the VE 4x2 automatic grille is chromed. The rear bumper is also new in design to make it easier to climb into the back of the pickup truck. Both front and rear bumpers come in body color. Also shared are the quad LED projector headlights with follow me home function, an LED daylight running lights, front fog lamps and tail lamps as well as the high mount stop lamp. The body color side mirrors with the integrated turn signals power fold and adjust. The Navara VE 4x2 automatic comes with keyless entry. The interior features some soft surfaces, fabric upholstery and trim. 
it comes with room enough to comfortably sit five. The driver and front seat passenger enjoy what Nissan calls its zero-gravity type seats that manually slide and recline. The driver gets the benefit of a height adjuster to help find its preferred driving position, aided in part by a tiltable steering wheel. Passengers in the back can benefit from a fold-down armrest with twin beverage holders. The leather-wrapped steering wheel feels great and comes with controls for audio, hands-free phone, cruise control, and the multi-information display screen between the large dials for the odometer and the tachometer. Other comfort and convenience features include power windows and door locks and dual-zone automatic air conditioning with rear vents. There are 12-volt sockets on the dashboard, in the center console, and the rear, as well as four USB ports. The overhead console houses the map lamp, sunglass holder, plus a mood lamp. The sun visors come with illuminated vanity mirror, plus a ticket holder for the driver. All four doors have large pockets and soft armrests. Infotainment on the drive is provided by a proprietary Nissan 8-inch advanced touchscreen audio compatible with Apple CarPlay and Android Auto, with Bluetooth capability for hands-free call-in audio stream, USB, iPod connection, aux port, AM-FM tuner, and six speakers, including two tweeters. Powering the VE 4x2 automatic is a 2,488cc four-cylinder diesel engine with variable turbocharger and intercooler, generating 190 PS at 3,600 RPM and 450 Nm of torque at 2,000 RPM. The seven-speed automatic transmission comes in manual mode for those who want greater control of gear shifts. One of the strong points of the Navara has been its handling on various surfaces and road conditions, helped along by a fully boxed ladder frame riding on front double wishbones with coil spring, and stabilizer bar and 5 multi-link with dual-rate coil spring and stabilizer bar. Nissan said that it has tuned the refresh Navara to be kinder to people in the back seat. The Navara brakes use front ventilated discs and rear drums to provide reliable and confident stopping power, especially with anti-lock brake system with electronic brake force distribution and brake assist for added safety. Also standard on the Navara is Vehicle Dynamic Control, which comes with four-wheel active brake limited slip and trailer assist. The VE 4x2 also comes with intelligent emergency braking, driver attention alert, and hill start assist. Pickups are hard to park, but helping in this is the reverse camera. Other standard safety and security features in the Navara VE 4x2 automatic are SRS airbags, 3-point ELR seat belts for 5 with driver and front passenger getting pre-tensioner, isofix, and teether anchors. The Navara VE 4x2 Automatic certainly fits the need for a pickup that's a comfortable driver in the city and a capable workhorse on a farm settings. The latest auto industry news and developments right after this break. biggest obstacle ourselves new ford ranger fx4 max live the ranger life welcome back to autofocus and we now have the latest auto industry news Ford Philippines is reporting a strong half-year of sales. Ford says it sold 9,855 units in the first six months of the year, an 84% growth in sales compared to the same period in 2020. The growth is driven by the Ranger in the territory. 
for it says it sold 3,323 units of the territory, which helped it retain leadership in the small SUV segment with 56% market share. And already the territory has reached the 5,000 sales milestone, having sold 5,248 units from August 2020 to June 2021. Ford also sold 4,515 units of the Ranger, a 13% increase in sales in the periods compared. The American automaker sold 2,588 units of 4x4 Ranger variants for a 28% increase in sales. Michael Breen, Ford Philippines Matching Director, believes Ranger and Territory's strong sales in the first half of the year is a testament to its sustained popularity in the market. He also thanked local buyers for their continued trust and preference towards Ford pickups and SUVs. The new Civic Type R is now available locally with refreshed exterior and mechanical updates to make it a more exciting drive. Honda says new exterior tweaks add to both aesthetics and function. The new front grille design with a new thinner grille beam provides a 30% larger air intake area that, combined with the updated radiator core, decreases coolant temperature by up to 10 degrees during high demand situations such as driving on the track, said Honda. The front and rear bumpers as well as the side skirts sport a carbon fiber effect front splitter. The enlarged wheel arches are adequately filled by 20-inch Berlina black alloy wheels. Inside, the new Civic Type R features a high center console complemented by Type R spec bucket seats with suede-like red and black fabric tim. Carbon center inlays and red accents add more than a dash of sport. New in the Type R rolled out locally is an updated 7-inch touchscreen display audio system with Apple CarPlay and added auto capability. The new Civic Type R retains the 310 horsepower 2.0 liter VTEC turbo engine that also produces peak torque of 400 Nm from 2500 to 4500 RPM. Only a 6-speed manual tranny is available equipped with a rev match control system enabling the car to sustain maximum power during gear shifts. The new Civic Type R comes at a suggested retail price of 3.21 million pesos, but Honda will chop off 100,000 pesos from that for orders made from July 27 to September 30. Mitsubishi Motor Philippines reports selling 2,933 units in the month of June to retain a strong number 2 position in the local automotive sector. Mitsubishi said the expander led sales with 794 units sold in June, a 62% increase from sales in the previous month while maintaining its status as the best-selling MPV in the country. According to Takeshi Hara, its president and CEO, Mitsubishi is very fortunate to receive such strong support from the market and truly appreciate the trust and confidence they show for the brand. Arasanos also expressed gratitude for the amazing efforts that dealer partners are making to reinforce the strong number 2 position of Mitsubishi Motors. He also assured customers that Mitsubishi is committed to reciprocate the strong patronage by providing dedicated customer service. After achieving great sales, Mitsubishi has also teased the public with a new offering. The new Mitsubishi Mirage G4 is expected to be rolled out before the month is over. The online public launch will be held on August 28 on Mitsubishi Motors Philippines Facebook page and YouTube channel. Those are the latest news and developments in the automotive industry. We shall take another short break. Stay with us. I'll be right back. I think my dad is secretly a superhero. He's the coolest, smartest, strongest person alive. No matter where we go, he always makes sure I feel safe. And he isn't afraid of anything. My dad likes to call that the power to lead. I call it his superpower. Live Extra with the Mitsubishi Expander Cross. Be part of the 2021-2022 Autofocus People's Choice Awards, the only nationwide poll to determine the country's most popular car brands and models. It's easy. Log on to bit.ly slash AFPCA2021, then vote for as many as five different models that you believe should become the 2021-2022 Autofocus Automobile of the Year in separate, standard, and premium luxury categories. Vote every day until November 30, 2021. The Autofocus People's Choice Awards. Who will win? You choose, you decide. Vote now. Every time I'm on the road, I can expect high performance from Phoenix Fuels. Now with Pulse Technology, delivers enhanced power and acceleration to make every trip come alive. 
Suzuki El Tiga. Seven seater in style. Welcome back to Autofocus, the country's premier automobile news and features electronic magazine. Here's your feature to feature comparison of the latest automobile models belonging to the same category on head to head. Small hatchbacks are among the most affordable of vehicles for first-time buyers. Head-to-head -head picks two examples of affordable hatchbacks in a spec-to-spec -spec comparison. There are now a number of small affordable hatchbacks in the local market within the 500 to 700,000 peso range. One is the Suzuki Espresso which is priced at 523,000 pesos. Another is the Toyota Wego, with prices starting at 658,000 pesos for the base model. In this head-to-head, -head, we'll be comparing specs of the Espresso GL Manual, the loan variant made available as of this time, priced at 523,000 pesos against the Toyota Wego TRDS Automatic, the top-end variant priced at 700,000 pesos. The Suzuki Espresso is 3,565mm long, 1,520mm wide, and 1,565mm tall with a 180mm minimum ground clearance. The exterior features of the Espresso GL manual include black resin front bumpers, multi-reflector halogen headlamps, C-shaped rear lamps, 14-inch steel rims with full wheel covered by 16570R14 tires. The Toyota Wego TRD S Automatic is 3,700mm long, 1,600mm wide, and 1,520mm tall with a minimum ground clearance of 180mm. The top-end variant of the Wego comes with a TRD Aero kit that includes front spoiler, side skirt, rear skirt, two-tone rear spoilers, TRD S decal and badge, as well as 14-inch machine-cut design alloy wheels. It also comes with projector-type headlamps, line-guide type clearance lamp, front fog lamps, rear combination lamps with LED brake lamps, and high-mount LED stop lamp integrated into the rear spoiler. The side view mirrors electronically adjust and fold and come with integrated turn signals. The 5-door five 5-seater five Espresso can accommodate 5 adults with the tall seats and cabin providing good leg and headroom. Upholstered in vinyl and fabric, the front seats slide and recline and the rear seat back folds to provide more room for cargo. The urethane steering wheel is fixed. In tier comfort and convenience features include remote keyless entry, central door locking, power windows on front doors, manual air conditioning, cup holders and bottle holders, 12 volt accessory sockets, assist grips, and sentry located digital instrument display. The infotainment system comes with a 7 inch touchscreen display, USB and Bluetooth connectivity, and two speakers. The Wego TRDS comes with keyless entry and push start button. It can sit 5 adults on fabric seats. The front seats slide and recline manually. The rear seat back folds. The steering wheel is fixed and features controls for audio system. Other interior comfort and convenience features include power windows and door locks, the air conditioning with LCD control panel. The infotainment system features touchscreen display, Apple CarPlay and Android Auto compatibility, AM FM radio, auxiliary and USB ports, as well as Bluetooth and voice command function and four speakers. The Espresso is powered by a 998cc three-cylinder engine with multi-point fuel injection and 12 valves that generates 67 horsepower at 5,500 revolutions per minute and 90Nm of torque. The lone variant comes with five-speed manual transmission that drives the front wheels. The Espresso suspension system uses front McPherson struts and torsion beams in the rear. The brake system uses front ventilated discs and rear drums. The Wego is powered by a 998cc 3-cylinder 12-valve engine with double overhead cam and VVTi that generates 66 PS at 6,000 RPM and 89 Nm of torque at 4,400 RPM. The Wego TRD comes with 4-speed automatic transmission that drives the front wheels. The suspension system features McPherson struts in front and torsion beam axle in the rear. The brake system uses front ventilated disc and rear drums. The Suzuki Espresso comes standard with anti-lock brake system with electronic brake force distribution, parking sensors, 
4 ELR seat belts plus 1 2 point lap belt. Wear seat belt reminder. Isofix teether anchorage. Childproof rear door locks. Dual airbags. Engine immobilizer. The Toyota Wego TRDS comes with ABS with EBD. Dual airbags. 3 point ELR seat belts. Back camera and parking sensors. Isofix anchors and anti theft system with immobilizer and alarm. Espresso and the Wego should keep the small hatchback segment relevant amid an automotive market shifting to crossovers and SUVs. Although it must be said, the Espresso, because of its tall, quirky dimensions, can be masqueraded as a tiny SUV. Isuzu D-MAX into new heights. Be it fine dining, a romantic garden wedding, a relaxed casual meal, or an important business event, Illustrado is the place to go. Aside from its famed paella, the Illustrado restaurant, which is located within the history-laden walled city of Intramuros, is also the favorite destination of food gourmands for its famous calios and lengua and other classic gustatory offerings. Illustrator Restaurant, only for the foodies. Be part of the 2021-2022 Autofocus People's Choice Awards, the only nationwide poll to determine the country's most popular car brands and models. It's easy. Log on to bit.ly slash AFPCA2021, then vote for as many as five different models that you believe should become the 2021-2022 Autofocus Automobile of the Year in separate, standard, and premium luxury categories. Vote every day until November 30, 2021. The Autofocus People's Choice Awards. Who will win? You choose, you decide. Vote now. Motul is the most trusted motor oil of the top teams competing in some of the world's most grueling race competitions. The WRC, the WTCC, and the Japan GT. Motul is the only 100% fully synthetic motor oil in the market. It has antioxidation properties that prevent premature thickening and aging due to thermal stress and guarantees total engine protection. For more information about Motul engine oils, visit www.motul.com.ph Welcome back to Autofocus, the country's premier automobile news and features electronic magazine. Our special feature is next. Isuzu Philippines is now a partner of Shopee. This special feature shows the significance of this partnership. The COVID-19 pandemic and the subsequent lockdowns and community quarantine restrictions have made online selling and purchasing a regular and important part of daily living. The need to avoid risk of exposure to the virus is keeping many people home. People now prefer to purchase what they need and want through the internet. And people who are looking to sell goods, brand new or pre-loved, are also benefiting from online marketplaces. Before the pandemic, online marketplaces or e-commerce was already growing because of the convenience it offers. E-commerce service providers like Shopee became popular. The pandemic added the need for safety. This has seen e-commerce service providers like Shopee grow even more popular. But to be successful, e-commerce needs reliable and efficient logistics services for quick, efficient, and reliable delivery of goods. Shopee, one of the leading e-commerce platforms in the Philippines, has taken on Isuzu Philippines as its partner for its logistical needs. SPX Philippines Incorporated, aka Shopee Express, added Isuzu NMR85H aluminum vans to its fleet of delivery trucks. Shopee headquartered in Singapore is the leading online marketplace for retailers in Southeast Asia and Taiwan. 
introduced in the Philippines in 2016. It has become the country's top and most popular B2C e-commerce site. Shopee Express is a Shopee-supported logistics arm and serves as a standard delivery option in the platform. The company aims to deliver items to customers daily and the fastest time possible that ensure faster seller payout. According to Martin Yu of Shopee Philippines, Suzu is firmly anchored on customer satisfaction and that is something that Shopee values. With a brand new middle mile fleet of durable and dependable NMR trucks from Isuzu, Shopee is able to operate efficiently and effectively delivering goods from sellers to buyers. The Isuzu NMR 85H is a six-wheeler truck with a 14-footer rear body length, gross vehicle weight of 4,490 kilograms, and is powered by 4JJ1 TCC engine that complies with the latest emission standard, which is Europor. The model is under the N-Series uh, line is matched for the Shopee Express because of its capabilities to load more packages despite having lightweight cabin, which maximizes payload, making every trip more cost and fuel efficient. With the addition of Isuzu NMR H85 aluminum vans, Shopee Express continues to serve as their standard delivery option for the online marketplace that aims to efficiently ship items to not just ensure timely distribution, but also faster payout for sellers. On behalf of Mrs. Philippines Corporation, thank you to SPX Philippines Inc. for trusting us to become their new responsible partner for logistics operations. With the NMR's tried and tested DNA, we are confident that they will be able to achieve their goals of safe and seamless deliveries in the fastest time possible. We would like to invite all those watching to visit any Isuzu dealers nationwide to learn more about our range of trucks and how each are made differently to fulfill every time of business requirement. Both buyer and seller will certainly benefit from this partnership of Isuzu and Shopee. Be part of the 2021-2022 Autofocus People's Choice Awards, the only nationwide poll to determine the country's most popular car brands and models. It's easy. Log on to bit.ly slash AFPCA2021, then vote for as many as five different models that you believe should become the 2021-2022 Autofocus Automobile of the Year in separate, standard, and premium luxury categories. Vote every day until November 30, 2021 the Autofocus People's Choice Awards. Who will win? You choose, you decide. Vote now. I think my dad is secretly a superhero. He's the coolest, smartest, strongest person alive. No matter where we go, he always makes sure I feel safe. And he isn't afraid of anything. My dad likes to call that the power to lead. I call it his superpower. Da, da, da. Make long distance easy with the Mirage G4. Welcome back. We have more cars for you to know and appreciate as we have our second car review this week. On this week's edition of Car Review, we take a look at the Mazda 6 2.5 liter Sky Active G Turbo Sedan. If you're looking for a sleek and classy mid sized sedan to drive or to be driven in, then maybe the new Mazda 6 is for you. 
and is arguably among the sleekest and classiest sedans on the road these days. The Mazda 6 can stand out in a lineup of sedans in a parking lot, easily catches the eye as it zooms past. Mazda has successfully adapted design cues from the Mazda Vision Coupe, named the most beautiful concept cars of the year at the 33rd Festival Automobile International back in 2017, and the making of the Mazda 6 looks sleek and stylish. One can easily see the Mazda Vision Coupe's design elements in the Mazda 6 2.5L Skyactiv G Turbo sedan, which is 4,870mm long, 1,840mm wide, and 1,450mm at its highest point. The slit-eyed swept-back adaptive LED headlights feature auto on and off and auto leveling function. The mesh grille mimics in part the distinctive fascia of the Mazda Vision Coupe. External features are not only aesthetics but also functional. The body-colored side mirrors adjust and folds electronically. The wipers turn on automatically when it rains. Other external features include dual exhaust pipes and electric glass sunroof. It is also shot in distinctive 19-inch alloy wheels wrapped by 22545R19 tires. The interior of the Mazda 6 2.5L Active G Turbo Sedan can also be described as sleek and classy. The deep chestnut Napa leather upholstery for seats and trim coupled with sandwood accents can only be described as classy. Leather also goes on the steering wheel and the shift knob. Sleek and almost minimalist describes the dash and instrumentation. Cutting edge and luxurious describe the functionality and convenience inside the Mazda 6. A smart keyless entry system makes ingress and egress very convenient. It's also got power everything. Windows, steering, door locks, plus push engine start-stop button, automatic dual-zone climate control system with rear ventilation lubes. The driver's seat is ventilated for cooling or warming, and power adjusts 10 ways with memory function to remember the perfect driving position. The front passenger seat is also ventilated and power adjusts 6 ways. The rear seat for 3 splits and folds 60-40, and comes with a fold-down center armrest with two USB ports. There are buttons and switches on the steering for audio and Bluetooth as well as cruise control. There are also paddle shifters. A 7-inch LCD display provides a neat info for driving. Audiophiles will love the infotainment system that uses the Mazda Connect system and comes with touchscreen LCD monitor, USB port, Bluetooth connectivity for hands-free and smartphone mirroring, and an 11-speaker Bose sound system. Exciting and safe both describe the Mazda 6 2.5L Skyactiv G Turbo Sedan driving experience. This starts with the 2488cc 4 cylinder 16 valve DOHC e gasoline engine. With Skyactiv G Dynamic Pressure Turbo, the engine generates 231 PS at 5000 revolutions per minute and 420 Nm of torque at 2000 RPM. The engine is mated to a Skyactiv Drive 6 speed automatic transmission with sport mode. The driver can control gear shifts with paddle shifters. The suspension uses McPherson struts in front and multi-link system in the rear. The brake system uses front ventilated and rear solid discs and comes with electric parking brake and auto brake hold functions. The Mazda equipped the 2.5L Skyactiv G Turbo Sedan with loads of driver assist and safety technology features that include lane departure warning with lane keep assist, blind spot monitoring with rear cross traffic alert, front and rear parking sensors, 360 degree view camera, anti-lock brake system with electronic brake force distribution, and dynamic stability control. Other safety features include six airbags, child locks ISO fix, and seat belts with signal warning lamp for front and rear passengers. SUVs and crossovers may have the numbers in sales these days, but the Mazda 6 certainly makes a good case for choosing sedans. Know more about your car and how to take care of it here on Autopedia. Okay, now we're gonna talk about handling. And by handling, I don't mean race car handling, which 99.99% of us will never do anyway. What we're gonna talk about is 
how the car handles normally on the road. So you can go to YouTube and then there are lots of videos explaining what camber is, what caster is and all of this stuff. But what we're gonna be talking about is a bit more practical. How to know if your car needs alignment or not and how to check if the alignment shop did a proper and correct job after you have it aligned. So, so if they did a sucky job, you can always tell them that, hey, car's not aligned, it's a back job. The easiest test that anybody can do, actually you do it unconsciously, you always have one hand on the wheel to keep the car going straight because as you can see here, we're going to go straight. The second that you let go of the steering wheel and we're about to crash into the Jeep. <laughs> that's how you know your car needs alignment. And that's also the test after you have your car have alignment done in the alignment shop you let it go. If it tracks straight, then job's well done. If it doesn't, then back job. Actually for alignment, the biggest factor that they adjust to make the car go straight or not is toe in and toe out. <laughs> not, not camber per se. Camber relates more to how the car turns, which we'll explain in a bit. We're gonna explain the terms with actual wheels rather than a diagram because having actual stuff is a lot easier to visualize. The most common that you hear is camber alignment. That simply means labas o pasok yung wheel. So this is negative camber. This is positive camber. Almost all cars now don't have positive camber anymore. A lot of the cars now, when you buy it stock straight from the factory, have a very, very slight negative camber both on the front and in the back why they do this because when you have a car that's negatively cambered and then when you corner the wheels actually straighten out so we're gonna exaggerate it a bit so you have a car that says negative camber like this when you corner weight shifts out the wheel gets straighter so there's more grip on the road and when you turn the other way the same thing happens weight is on this wheel this wheel gets straighter so there's more grip on this one so that's what camber is the next question is hindi ba mapuputput yung gulong ko dahil naka negative camber ako the answer is no <laughs> the amount of camber is very very slight usually a degree is a lot so it's anywhere from half a degree to one degree that's the stock setting of, of almost all cars now uh, there are some rare cars like Mazda 3s have about a degree and a half, sometimes two degrees of negative camber at the back. And by the way, that's what makes the car handle so well because of that extreme negative camber at the back. If you hear, um, hang around with car people often enough, you'll hear that na, napuputput yung loob ng gulong ko. It's because of if you have too much negative camber like this, only this part is on the ground. This part here does not rub the ground. So the end result is you get inside tire wear, which means it's napuputput sa, lo sa loob. And since you're a cheapskate, irorotate mo na lang yung goma para maputput naman yung labas. <laughs> but as we showed earlier, if your car goes straight or not when you let go of the steering wheel, a lot of it has to do with toe in and toe out. And then for this one, we need to have a shot from above the tire. <laughs> this is toe in. This is toe out. Again, the stock setting is almost always slightly slightly towed in from the factory and it's pretty easy to see if you have an old uh, transformers toy that with one wheel wobbled like that obviously it will not go straight it's wobbled like this it will also not go straight if it's straight like this with very very slightly pointing inward then this will actually go straight when you roll it <laughs> having the opposite of like that this will also go straight but it will be very wiggly so most of the adjustments when you're having a car aligned to go straight is actually the toe in and toe out. The third term that you will hear is caster alignment. Uh, most of the cars now, we don't really adjust this anymore because there's not much to adjust and adjusting it doesn't really affect anything unless you're racing. So let's forget about that one. So the two important things to remember are toe in, toe out, and then camber alignment for tire wear. But once again, the best test, if your alignment job is great or not, let go of the steering wheel. 
That advice also same goes for people who install lowering springs. They always ask, do you need an alignment after you install lowering springs or any other suspension work? Same principle goes. Let go of the steering wheel. If your car go run straight, you don't need an alignment. If it veers left and right at kumakabig, then you need an alignment. That's how handling is done for us normal people 99.99% of the time and that's all what we need to be concerned about. Yes, you can have lowering springs, better shock absorbers, but the thing is for normal people driving on normal roads, handling is how straight your car goes. And when you ask it to turn, and it turns and it's not malikot, it's not all over the road. That is handling for the common person. <laughs>